It always amazes me how full of mercy, grace, and forgiveness God is. No matter how many times we sin against him, turn our backs on him, or even launch full-scale attacks on him, God is always faithful no matter what. And in 2 Samuel chapter 2, the Lord instructs David to move back to Hebron. And in verses 4 through 7, we see David is anointed king of Judah, and then David does something that, again, reminds us why David was called a man after God's own heart. It says, Then the men of Judah came to David and anointed him king over the people of Judah. When David heard that the men of Jabesh-Gilead had buried Saul, he sent them this message, May the Lord bless you for being so loyal to your master Saul and giving him a decent burial. May the Lord be loyal to you in return and reward you with his unfailing love. And I, too, will reward you for what you have done now that Saul is dead. I ask you to be my strong and loyal subjects, like the people of Judah, who have anointed me as their king. These are the same men who tried to kill David over and over again. David has every right to be angry with them and to wish them harm, to want to seek revenge. But that's not what David does. He wants to reward them for how they honored Saul. He then gives them the opportunity to join him and to serve him just as they did Saul. Unfortunately, they refuse, and we see later in the chapter how this decision leads to more war and death. But in this, we see such a clear picture of how God loves and forgives us and how we can learn from his example. How many times Do our actions cause us to be so undeserving of God's grace and forgiveness, yet he gives it to us without condition? But then we turn around and are so unwilling to forgive those who have wronged us. Don't miss this valuable lesson that we see in the example of David. Who is it that has wronged you? Maybe it's something small, or maybe it's someone who has repeatedly attacked you? How have you responded? How will you respond? Will you be like David? Will you be like Jesus? Are you willing to offer forgiveness and friendship? Or will you respond in a way that only brings more war and destruction? 1 Peter 3.9 says, Don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, Pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and he will grant you his blessing.